Hi guys, welcome to another session on Selenium Test NG Report Generation Frameworks. So in this uh, session, I'm gonna cover Alu Reporting, which is a new reporting framework, which is given freely, and it has a nice reporting dashboard with good reporting charts, trend analysis. So let's see how we can integrate Allo reporting into Selenium test engine. So first of all, you have to create a project. And in this project, we had to create a Maven project. And in the Maven project, first of all, we have this pom.xml. Just click on pom.xml. So you know how to create a Maven project, new, go to new, other, and select Maven project, create a simple project, give, give the group ID, artifact ID, and click finish, it will create the Maven project with a pom.xml file. So you go to pom.xml and add Selenium HQ dependency, that is Selenium dependency Java, you can add the latest one, 3.9.1, and also you have to add the allo report dependency which is version 2 beta 19 which is much stable and which is which i have used earlier so at this dependency you can get it from maven uh, repository just go to google type maven dependency allo test ng so i'm going to base this test in test ng so i have created a set of test where one will log into the Google demo bank site then it will check the header after logging it with the correct username and password it will check the header so if it's okay, okay so it will pass then close the driver then uh, again logging into the bank demo site checks whether the header is good night this is a failing test case and also check new customer one which is also will be failed so let's just run and see how we can uh, in integrate Allo into our test automation framework so just have test energy annotations and selenium okay so it's very simple so we'll just I'll just delete these previous executions now what we have to do is simply run this but first of all have maven install maven you can download it from the upper maven.apache.org so you can download the latest maven version copy it to a file folder so i have a folder created for maven extract it and have it in your system environment variables create the uh, have the path variables environment variables in your system and also you have to go and download Allure binary this Allure binary is available at the github of Allure-framework Allure 2 releases so you can download this binary download Allure extract it and have it in a folder so I have a folder called Allure, Allure, Allure 2.5.0 I have downloaded. Then have the bin file in your environment variables. Create a path in the environment variable for the bin file. So that when everything is done, try to just run the maven command mvn. So this means it is successful the environment will be created so if you run allure that's also successful created so you have to create the environment variables so after doing this let's clear the screen what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my test case which has the allo dependency so let's run this and see So it runs under Chrome. So let's execute the test cases. Logging in. 
next test case started second one so you can see it's logging in the third one so let's see how many failures and how many passes we have so it runs under test ng so you can see there are three runs one failure it's okay doesn't matter just I want to say, show you the functionality of Allure so now you have to go and refresh your project you can see Allure results folder has been created as it's integrated so you can see JSON files so this is automatically created once there is execution so we had three test cases and it has generated three JSON files so one result file one container file so for each test now what we are going to do is I'm going to run a simple allo command so we have to run allo serve so I'll copy this command the command prompt now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my allo results folder so that it will generate there we go copy and paste let's run this okay so it's generating the report and voila we got the allure dashboard up so you can see the percentage passed percentage broken test cases so i have one failure two passing so when we go to the detail level you can see where the failure is it only highlights the failure so where what happened to the failure what is the stack trace graphs of my runs so the percentage and the bar graphs so it looks really pretty interesting guys so you can have the total test cases how many time how many the time duration 10 seconds for the first 12 seconds and this is failing took 8 seconds to run so this is how we do integrate allo reporting into your selenium web driver test ng framework if you like this video please put a like and start integrating allo reporting to your selenium test ng framework thanks guys